Hey guys, what's going on? So today I want to give y'all a new kind of video for the shark eye on robots. So these are the side spinner brushes that you see on the shark eye on robots. Uh, a right and a left side one. That way we can do both of them to show you that they are the same. But what I want to show y'all how to do in this video is how to take them apart, clean them, and see if maybe something's broken on the inside or if it's clogged up. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the only thing that you're going to need for this is a flathead. And if you need to replace your motor, you will need a Phillips head, I believe. So let's go ahead, take our flathead, and we're going to pop the little plastic tabs around it. There's three of them. Oops. And... You can use your finger. Should have got a different flathead. You want to... This one's kind of thin, but it's not as thin as I'd like for this. Plus, it's kind of hard to see over the camera. Yeah, I'll need to just use my finger. This one's being stubborn. No, that's why the tip on this screwdriver's broke. I didn't realize that. So, let's see. I got another screwdriver over here. <clears throat> or you can use a pocket knife. Whatever you prefer. Okay. So, there is the output gear right here. This is that the one that the uh, brush. Let me grab a brush. So this spinner brush just clips right on there. I'm not gonna clip it fully, but that's what that clips onto. And you can use a. Let's see that it will be a T9. To remove the metal guard uh, if yours gets damaged. So you can replace the retaining clip right there. So there's a little metal guard on there is the retaining clip. So this is your brush gear. Um, your motor, which takes a Phillips head. So we're going to push that one aside. Put this one right here. Next, you're going to have your uh, metal gear. And... I want to go right there. Two Phillips heads that you can take out with a Phillips head screwdriver. And the motor will pop right out. Um, Let's go ahead and pop this one off. Let's see. The screwdriver's flat. We got a flatter tip. One. Two. And three. Oop. One, two, and three. There we go. All right. <clears throat> okay, so I believe this is the first time actually I've compared this because I've never sold these parts. But let's see. Yep, just said I thought the... Motors are exactly the same, right and left. Same, uh, the uh, splines curve up and to the left, up and to the left on both. These intermediate gears are exactly the same. And these are exactly the same as well. So, what that means is, the only thing, just like some of the other shark ion gears, the only thing that changes is actually the housing. So, I can literally just, here we'll put this one in there, and this one in here. 
And we'll put, you know, we'll put this one in here. And this one in here. And they all work together the same. So I do have these motors for sale along with the whole unit. The units cost $15 plus shipping. Um, but I run a sale on them all the time. So you probably can pick it up for about $12 plus shipping or less. Go ahead and send me a message on eBay if you need uh, a whole kit. And I sell two of them for $24 plus shipping. Um, but I will cut e uh, YouTubers a deal. So message me if you need one of these on YouTube. Well, message me on eBay and say that you're from YouTube, and I'll um, I'll do both of them for twenty five free ship. So you get both of these for twenty five dollars free ship. Just uh, mention this video, and I I'll take care of y'all. So that's how we uh, take that apart. You can check it for dog hair, uh, rocks, debris, anything. These seal up pretty well, actually, surprisingly. So you really don't have to worry about these as much. Uh, I could see gears stripping in them or the motor just going bad. So just let me know. Uh, 725, 750 underscore N, 750s, 850s, 851s, 860s and 861s. All should be the same. The only thing that's going to be different is if you have a... Uh, where did it go? <clears throat> if you have a solid uh, inner case wheel like this, if you have like an older 700 or 750 that has the wheels on the inside, um, where you can't just remove the wheels from the bottom, that's going to be a different brush motor. But all the other ones will be the same. And 1000 series are a little bit different, so just a heads up with that. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this video helped you all out. Uh, it would really help me out if you subscribe to the channel, leave a comment or a like, and thanks for watching.